I'm going to talk to you probably hopefully for about um, uh, 10 to 15 minutes really quick. I'm going to get you warmed up to um, talk about pivoting and promoting your art business in this double pandemic because yes, we are in a double pandemic. Um, and so I'm going to talk about that and really this is going to kind of get you warmed up and lay the foundation for some of the things that we'll talk about to our panelists. So just a little bit of background on uh, myself. I have about 20 years of experience in marketing and that's for uh, international corporations and entrepreneurs, nonprofits, probably anything and everything in marketing I have done. Um, some of the current things that I'm working on, of course, you know, with Tennessee Craft, Mid-State, and then also I do marketing and branding consultant for Creators Day. I'm a mentor, a Periscope mentor at Arts and Business Council, and then I also work with some of the content curation for National Nashville Design Week. And recently, um, I was a panelist for diversity and fashion uh, for international conference, and I also help them organize the conference. So I'm very heavily involved in the art scene. Um, so like I said, this will be a foundation, and just to give you an idea of where, where I'm coming from as far as marketing and what I do, um, if you see that logo in the, in the bottom corner, that's my logo. I'm, uh, I do marketing consulting. Um, but my belief is that marketing is not a band-aid. So a lot of times people say, oh, I need more sales. So I need to figure out how to do marketing. But my approach is always from the perspective of the whole person or the whole organization. So a lot of times what is going on is not, marketing is not going to be something that's going to fix it and move you past that next level. So... Um, so I work with a lot of like founders and entrepreneurs to kind of get to that next level um, and focus on the whole person. So my approach with this is going to be those foundational things that you need to get moving in this time. But then also it's not not foundational in the sense, well, you know, I already know this if I've been doing it for a long time but foundational in the sense that if you have been doing it for a long time or if you're just starting out, these are the key things that you need to think about um, as you're going forward through this time and as it pertains to marketing and your business. Sorry. So this is a quote from Toni Morrison that I've been, that has just been on my mind since um, this whole thing started. And really it basically says that, you know, now is the time for artists. Art is how um, civilizations heal. And so my thought with art is that art helps to connect cultures and it helps to expand minds. And so right now it's needed more than ever. And on this slide, I have your work is needed, your in capital letters, because I truly believe that everyone at the sound of my voice, um, if you're listening, and even those that aren't, you have a special way of delivering and connecting with people. You have a sphere of influence. Um, so there's a lot of power in the artwork that you do. And a lot of times for entrepreneurs, they think, oh, there's so many people that do what I do. Um, and I kind of, you know, I'm going to get lost in the crowd, but I'll talk about this a little bit later, but it's really about building that group of people in that community that really connects to you. And it's about your sphere of influence and how you can um, influence people um, through the people that you know and the community that you build. Um, so this graphic, I'm sure a lot of people have probably seen it. I don't even know where it's from, but I've seen it all over the place. Um, and I don't, we'll make these slides available or we'll post it somewhere. Um, so you can see it, but basically this talks about um, the different zone that you're in. And this is with any problem, but it's specifically uh, talking about the pandemic. And it talks about being in the fear zone where it's like, oh, you know, I can't, you know, I can't even think, I can't even do my art. I can't, you know, I can't focus on anything. 
And then it's all the way to the growth zone where you're like, okay, I've kind of accepted things and I'm ready to move on and I'm excited and happy about life. And, you know, I know it's important to me. And the point of this is really that in the growth zone, you can go back to all the way back to the fear zone and have to start over again. And the growth zone is not like this is a milestone and I'm here and it's going to be great for the rest of my life. It's something that you have to consistently work on to stay there or to even get to that point. So, so it, it talks about this graph. It talks about like your emotions and how you feel right now. So it's really important to, to realize where you're at and how you feel and not necessarily realize that people are at different areas. So if people are saying, oh, I did this class and I'm gardening and I'm doing this and okay, great. You don't have to do the things that other people are doing. You can sit in your bed all day and that's fine um, because that's where you're at right now. So I know a lot of us are in different places because we've experienced different things. So just, you know, kind of honor that. And what I would suggest, now there's a stat, I didn't, I didn't bring it into this, but meditation um, it increases your life, your lifespan. I mean, it's a really great tool. And when I say meditation, that can be kind of a heavy word for some people. Like, you know, I don't, I pro I'm, I'm no expert in meditation at all. But what I will say is take some time to, maybe it's like 30 minutes a day, or just take some time and stop consuming content and, and you know, talk to people, take some time to yourself for your own thoughts. And then in that time, you, um, you get a lot of creativity coming to you, whether you're journaling or taking a walk in nature, that's when that creativity comes a lot of times. And that's what helps you process through some of these things. Um, I will give you a great story on focusing um, on the things that you can control, which is really important, but I don't have much time. So I'm gonna keep going. Um, and so this, this is very important, uh, this slide, be grounded in your why. And so whenever I work with somebody, um, this is one of the first things that I ask them is, do you know why you're here? Do you know why you're doing this business? Do you know what your purpose is? And not saying, do you know how you're doing things or what you're doing, but why are you doing it? And I'll give you a great example, for example, if I say my, what I want to do in life or what my reason for being here is to um, inspire kids to create. So if I have a job as a teacher or whatever job I have that's doing that, I'm connected to my why, I'm happy. But if I lose my job, that doesn't change who I am. It doesn't change my purpose. So it, the, knowing why you're here it helps to ground you in the sense that you're not connected to life circumstances because if i'm focused on you know inspiring kids then i'm going to find another way to do it that's more creative so it helps to kind of continue to get those creative juices flowing as far as like what your next steps are because you're not necessarily tied to a specific circumstance or a job or you know anything like that so that's kind of your first step in your business is figuring out what is the purpose of your business? Why are you here? And there's, there's a lot of work that you can do on that. And I, I give some resources at the end um, to help you with that. So, um, and if you have any questions on that, you can definitely like comment or, you know, inbox me or anything, because that's, that's a much deeper conversation, but that is where you should start with. That's where you should start. Um, and then let's get into the marketing part of this. So um, I have building and fostering relationships. So really to me, marketing is about building relationships and it's not about just putting your product out there and expecting people to buy. Right now it's about what is the relationship that you have with your customer? What community have you built and it's not just about being online either. So I say fostering relationships, that's really the relationships with your current customers. Um, if you, you can do things like you can call them, you can text them, you can send them a, a card that says thank you. So right now in this time, even though you 
may not have a shop or you may, you know, be in the middle of pivoting, um, now's the time to continue to build those relationships. Not necessarily like, not necessarily picking up the phone and saying, hey, I need some money, buy my product. It's more of letting them know that you're thinking about them, that you care. Um, and just sending a little note, because that is those are things that really resonate with people. So foster your current relationships. Don't forget about the people that have been there supporting you from the beginning. And then also building new relationships. So um, this is there's a bunch of data on this slide, but and I'll get into it, but there's a link on there and it's a report that um, Hootsuite did. And it has a ton of data about how now people are online. So there's a great opportunity now for people to get online and, you know, because that's where everybody's at and not as many people are out and about doing things. A lot of things got canceled, but there's a ton of opportunity online. Um, so for example, you know, people are on social media, they're streaming, they're on messenger services, they are shopping online. They are using social media, every age group. So it's not just young people, it's everyone is online, starting to use social media, starting to buy things. And COVID just accelerated all of that. You know, it's like you kind of, they didn't give people a choice in a way. So, and then for this slide, it talks about that people aren't just on one channel. They're on Facebook, YouTube, People that are on Facebook are on TikTok too. I mean, I'm sure you've probably seen that on your feed. Um, and so in marketing, we always think, oh, we want to be multiple places. We want to be on all of these channels because we want that frequency. We want people to see us all the time. Um, but what I would tell you to do, because this can be very overwhelming, is I would tell you to focus. Um, because it's going to look really bad. It's not going to help anyone or yourself if you're spread too thin and you're not doing any of those channels well. So focus on one channel um, and do that really well and then move on to something else and find what works for you. So if you look at all this data and it says, oh, the best time to post on Instagram is one o'clock on a Tuesday, don't, this data is for nationwide, more for like big companies with wide audiences and for overall industries, if you have a specific industry that you're serving or a specific type of person, figure out that data for yourself about what your customer is, when your customer is online, because they may not be online during the day. They might be online in the evening. Um, so there's ways to figure those, um, that data out specific for you. So find what works for you and for your customer. And just a business tip, uh, you are not all things ask for help. So if you need help building a website, for example, don't spend weeks doing it. It's okay to pay for something like that and spend time doing your art. Um, and so that you can actually have something to sell once you get your website up. Um, and then also don't be afraid to ask your friends and family for help with your business for just moral support or, um, you know, other people that are doing the same thing and they're entrepreneurs and they're artists asking for their support. Um, not necessarily saying that you're, these are the people that are going to buy your products, but these are the people that are going to support you through those tough times because they know uh, what you're going through. And the next thing is connect with people, find your tribe. So this is what I was talking about, building a community. Um, so when you get online, the thing that you should be focused on is building a community of people. So on here, I say it's, it's so much better. Instead of don't worry about likes, don't worry about how many people are following you, don't worry about any of that stuff. Um, what you need to worry about is how many people are really engaged with you, how many people feel connected to you, because in a lot of companies that have survived during this time, they survive because they have dedicated and engaged people that will buy from them no matter what the situation, and they are the ones that they want, that want to do, um, that people want to do business with because of those relationships. 
So find your community um, and be focused on engaging. If people um, comment on your post, you know, comment back to them, respond to them. If people DM you, respond to them. Because remember, it's about building that community. It's about building relationships. And then the way that you connect with people is through being authentic. And I think, you know, you're, you, you look at other examples on social media, you see that, you know, people, they can tell when you're not real. They want to see a person. They want you to be authentic. And you can be authentic on your level. It doesn't have to be, you know, what you ate that day or everything in your personal life. What you feel comfortable with, um, show them your process and, you know, let them into your artwork a little bit. And um, that's how you connect with people. And as far as consistency goes, a lot of people say, you know, you need to post a lot. Like, don't think that you have to do that. Just be focused on being consistent. So if you say, I'm going to do, I only have time to do one video. Um, and th at this time or this day of the week, do that. Or if you want to post every day, do it. Just be consistent because a lot of people are now programmed where they're like, okay, I know to look for this person that I follow. I know to look for her post at this day and this time. So make sure that you do something that is consistent, whatever you do, and then build from there versus just kind of getting burned out on the whole thing. Um, and then this, uh, this is a quote, the most valuable gift you have to offer is yourself. And this is a quote from The Go-Giver. I might be paraphrasing it, but this is the actual book that one of my um, mentors gave me or suggested that I read. And the whole point of this is just to say that you may not have the same credentials as other people, or you may not be doing what other people are doing, but what people really wanna see is you. They want to see you based on your value system, based on your background, based on what you're doing with your artwork. That is more than enough to connect with your audience, how you are right now and your evolution. Um, so just know that, um, I also have on here, free is not a bad word. So you have to understand that when you do certain things that, People may not be paying you, but you're getting a lot of exposure. So think about it. Um, think about kind of the whole picture with things. If you volunteer to teach a class, well, a lot of those people in the class may want to do specific business with you. So don't just automatically say no if something's free. Um, and I will say one thing, because we'll probably get into some of these other things, but um, talking about, I think now more, even in addition to authenticity, is taking a stand on certain issues that are going on. I think now people are not just expecting you to be authentic about, you know, anything. They're expecting you to take a stand on certain issues. And the thing about that, I think a lot of people are like kind of afraid to do that. They don't know what to do. But what I would say is think about your purpose, think about your why, think about your values. And you want to connect with people that have similar values to you because those are going to be your customers through thick and thin. And that's going to build that authentic relationship. So that, that's what I'll say on just to kind of address that issue. Um, so another thing, and I'm actually almost done, but uh, resources. So I want to give you a ton of resources this is kind of your next step. So this is like kind of a teaser on marketing. Um, there's tons of classes out there about um, doing an Etsy shop or a website or things to do on social media. And even if you have some um, things that you want us to cover in future meetings, we can definitely do a deep dive. Uh, this event is coming up. It's Arts and Business Council. Go to their Facebook or their Instagram and they'll have a link to the Eventbrite where you can sign up. But it's the art of the pivot and it's a two hour interactive session. Uh, discount code is below. I think it's like $20, um, but you get $5 off the price if you attend this event, our panel. So that is available to you. So please go after this, register for that. 
And this, uh, some of the concepts that I was talking about, because I, I read a lot, but, but some of the concepts that I was talking about are in some of these books. Um, and what I would say, we talked about that growth zone. To stay in that zone or to get to that zone, you're going to need to have constant inspiration, either from your community or from books or things like that. So join a community. Um, read some inspirational books. If you don't know about Creative Mornings, they have Google it and you'll be able to sign up for free Zoom meetings and they talk about so social media branding, meditation. They talk about all those things um, to help you find inspiration. And then also we have a, a Facebook group that you can join and we put in, you know, any and every arts related inspiration, gallery tours, um, and any events that are going on, we try to put that in that group. And then of course, all of our panelists, <laughs> um, you can find inspiration from them and um, this is where you can reach them. So that, that's kind of the little uh, teaser with marketing. If you have any questions, you know, of course, put, it, put them in the comments or reach out to me um, and I will assist you with any of those.